This is Papa Frank and welcome to another enlisted guide video. Today we are going to discuss orders, what you should spend them on and in which priority. So for this video I'm going to split it up into two sections, weapons and soldier logistics. Starting out with the weaponry logistics, these are used to get you weapons, vehicle parts and equipment. You'll also notice that there are stuff you can buy for bronze, silver or gold orders. Now, bronze orders can be used to get random weapons or specific equipment, which means that you'll have to choose between either getting a random weapon of a random rank or get a guaranteed equipment that you might need. In terms of weapons, you can use silver orders as well, but <laughs> I'll be discussing that in a second. For now, we'll focus on bronze. I would suggest using only bronze orders to get weapons. And that's because silver orders are used far more often to buy stuff. The amount of bronze orders that you will get will be more than enough to buy weapons and equipment as you level up certain campaigns. Which, if you want to have a great time, I'd suggest you level up one campaign at a time as suggested in my campaign leveling guide here. Equipments are pretty much straightforward. There's not that much to discuss here other than explosive packs are meta, grenades are good, smoke grenades are very important but for some reason nobody uses them and molotovs and anti-tank mines are underrated. If you're a part-time to full-time tanker it might be worth picking up tools as well, and medkits are cheap, so use them. I'd suggest two per soldier. Now, silver weapon orders are a totally different spending priority. While you might be able to get a random gun for bronze orders, you cannot get spare tank parts for bronze orders. So if you want to uh, upgrade the tank or plane you really like to play, I'd suggest you save up your orders to get the parts, but before you do that, head on over to the tanks workshop upgrade in the squad upgrades and make sure you follow my squad upgrades guide, which if you didn't check out so far, you can check here. In order to save up as many scrap as you can to make your upgrades cheaper. Now, the priority should go for vehicles and then preferred weapons of choice, whatever you like to play most or does the best in your hands. So last but not the least, golden orders are simple. You get them as a reward for the battle pass and they provide you with an, a max ranked weapon. I advise you, you spend it on the faction, the one faction that you play most because that's where you're going to get the most out of it. There's no golden rule here, no OP weapon. I mean, <laughs> the PPDs are OP, but you don't need gold orders for them. <laughs> All right, with that said, let's move over to the troops. Now, continuing with the orders for troops, this is going to be a shorter topic. You have bronze, silver and golden orders here as well. But the way you should spend it differs a bit. Where I told you to not spend silver on specific weapons, here you should actually spend, spend silver only for specific soldiers. Do not, and I repeat, do not spend silver orders on troops. I mean, troopers you, you usually get from bronze orders and they are fillers to your squads. What you want to do is lower the grind to rank 5 soldiers. Which if you didn't watch my video on the infantry leveling and how to use the academy to level up your soldiers fast, you can do it here. <laughs> Just kidding. It didn't come out yet, but it might by the time you see this video. Oh, there you go. Save up silver orders and spend them on the classes you either play most or the squads you want to fill out with elite rank 5 soldiers. Bronze orders are simple, just get more soldiers. Golden orders are the same as the weapons one. You, you get a guy that's a max ranked, so get it for the faction you'd actually play most so that you can get the most out of it. Though, check out their class type to make sure it works 
for your squad. Guys, I hope this helped and cleared up all the confusion you had regarding the whole logistics and orders system in this game. If you liked the video, you know what to do. Leave a sub, like, and a positive comment for the YouTube algorithm. Also, you're always invited to hang out whenever I stream. Link in the description. Thanks and see you next time.